you doing? Welcome to Life with Belsom, eh? Fucking right, boys and girls. Today on the Life with Belsom show, or the Belsom show, whichever ones you want to call her, boys, I'm going to put together the axial because I got the parts in for it. Now, if you're wondering, I did start to tweak around a little bit because there's a few different things different, and I should do a little different things different, things different but I'm not going to do it different because I'm not really worried about it. Frig, no, I'm not. Why would I be? Right? But... I've got done so far is I've got the transmission in as you can see they put you up here decent so I got the transmission in this transmission here is a little bit a little different than the stock one it is there's a little bit more of a spacer in here eh? see that so this skid flywheel thing with bobber isn't on the old one which is really weird boys but hey whatever works and the teeth are different on the big sprocket we get a little different message on the teethages so we're gonna try it with these teeth, and if it doesn't work, we'll just tear it apart, and we'll do it the other way. Why wouldn't we, eh? But you just sit back here, and you sit up there, and you sit over there, and we'll get this thing rolling, and we'll get her together, and see how she friggin' works. Decent. So, first thing I wanna do is put the drive shaft back in. Boys, girls, peoples. Slap the drive shaft in the old shaft. Careful, easy, gentle. Here, cut over here so you can see. That camera might see, but you'll be able to see for sure. So we'll slap this in here like this. Boys, girls, peoples, this thing's just cocking you right over. Oh, way. So this thing's gotta go up here like so. Ain't like so. And then we gotta put a grub screw in, which is right here. Nothing like a good grub screw. Frig, no, there's not. Grub screws are de de decent. So as you can see, we're doing all this by hand again. I like doing things by hand, boys. Friggin' right, I do. Why wouldn't I? Uh oh. Gotta find the hole, Jim. Where is a friggin' hole, Jim? Right there, eh? Get her lined up, then we can slide her in, Captain. Uh, uh, oh God, my fingers are too big. <laughs> I think we might have her. There we are. So slide that in here like this, and we'll screw her down. And of course I'm in backwards, why wouldn't I be? The threads are on the other fucking side. What's really going on? Nothing can be easy anymore, boys. Everything's gotta be complicated. <clears throat> All right, let's try this way. Why wouldn't we? Oh, I missed the hole, Captain. Slipped right through the hole without lube, I did. What is going on? These screws are not fitting, boys. Girls, peoples. All right, I'm gonna snap. Friggin' right, I'm gonna snap. What is going on here? No, it's definitely not threading in there. And that's definitely not threading in there, so obviously that's not the right one. Bear with me, boys. It's only gonna take me a year and a half to get the goddamn drive shaft back together. Okay? Why wouldn't it take for a year and a half? All right, let's try this one. This one's even fucking smaller though. But that's it. Hey, we found her, Jim. This is the one we need right there. So let's try this yet again. We'll stick that in there like that. We'll stick this in here like this. And we'll bob your uncle like that. It should feel pretty good. Slip her in like that, slip her down like that, and give her the old torquey torquey. There she is. Now we're cooking with butter. So there's one drive shaft in, decent. We should actually probably, oh yeah, we can't do that. We gotta put the other drive shaft on first, we do. We gotta get the other drive shaft on. Jim? All right, so this one is a bigger one. So there you go, two different sizes. I bet nobody else knew that. I sure the hell didn't. No, I do. We're getting ready to do. Why wouldn't you be two different sizes, Captain? So we'll slap this one in, like so, eh? Like so. Missed the hole, like so. So slide this one in, tighten her up, and now we'll flip her over and we'll mount the tranny. And hopefully it lines up because I don't really know what the hell's going on. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how the hell you doing, bud? So, to mount the tranny, we need screws. We do, and a screwdriver or two. Right there, that's a good one. So we'll stick this up here like this, and we'll find the hole, Captain. So there's one hole and there's two holes. So right in here, we should be able to find the tranny mount. There's one. Decent. I don't want to get too carried away. Friggin' hitting her in the first shot, for God's sakes. What's the chance of that happening? Jim, these ones are awful friggin' long, though. Oh well, hey, whatever. It is what it is. They came with it, so they can't be the wrong ones. And if they are, we'll find out shortly. Oh, yeah. They feel good, boys. Girls, people. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like doing the RCs with Bilsov. Why wouldn't you? So there we go. We got the transmission remounted, and everything looks good. It already looks good. Oh, there's not much sticking out of that thing. And now all we gotta do is put on the front plate. Oh, yeah. So we gotta drop this plate in, which is a gearbox cover upper thing with bobber. I don't know if it's gonna fit, boys, because I had to modify the other one for this drive shaft. And this one looks the same way. 
Oh, it went. Oh, this one's better. We got a better one, we do. All right, can you see? Oh, you're not. Why would you? We'll slide that screw in here like this. Nothing like a fresh transmission, Jim. It's one screw. Careful. Easy. I got a band-aid on this finger and it's just cocking me over. Three ranges. Two. Oh my god, how am I supposed to get that in there with these fingers? We dropped it. There it is. <laughs> this should be pretty interesting for these fingers. Oh, frig, I think I dropped it right in. I did, so I just gotta get the screwdriver in there. Check it out. There it is right in there. Do you see it? Probably not. Why would you? The old axial there, look at the lift on her boys. Look at the drive shaft. They're hardly even in the shaft of Ruski. Tell you one thing, it wouldn't want to go much higher with this or she won't have much uh, cock in her. But we're gonna have to, cause that's the next thing to do here. Is um, we should maybe cover up this wiring though, cause it's pretty dickered. Here, let's do a quick fix here. So the winch don't work, so we don't need that. No go on that old. This here is going to nowhere, so we'll just leave it there for now. This here is ground. This is positive, so we'll cut that off so it doesn't short out on anything. There we go. And then this can just sit up here for now. Decent. Actually, let's cut that off too. Why wouldn't we? There we go. That's how Bill's stuff tidies up. Just cut the shit off, boys. This winch ain't working, so cut it off. That way it doesn't hang down. And uh, Bob's your uncle. Now, I think what we should do next is try to make sure the motor's working right. That would be something good to do right there. Because I think I charged this battery. I can't remember. But I don't need a charge to try it anyways, do I? Freak. No, I don't. So we'll slap this in like so. We'll turn it on. Uh-oh, boys. <laughs> what happened? Oh, careful. Oh, I got screws everywhere. For God's sake. Yeah. All right, so I think this I think this gear is different. It seems to be a lot quicker. <laughs> oh, hold on, we gotta turn it back on. Okay, so we got steering. Holy! Boys, it's working. Okay, so we know that works. So we're good. So the gears are working, so we're gonna unplug that, shut that off, and now we'll put some shocks in her. And let's get the friggin' shocks in her, Jim. So, what we need to do next is... <sighs> we need to pull the wheels, we do. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. why wouldn't we? Holy fuck, that's way too big. What happened? Where's all my goddamn tools gone, for fuck's sakes? Let's try the T-lug on her. Nope. There she is, we found her, we did. And now we need an Allen key. Same with Bobber. Here, let's give you a quick angle to dangle here, boys. We need something to pull that off, we do. Well, I'll find it. There she is, so we'll pull this off. Holy, that's long, Jim. There we go. We'll pull this off, which we're gonna need a little doodad, a thing with Bobber in there to hold it, which I don't think I have, unless this is it. Looks awful big, but hey. I've never used kit tools before, but we're using her today, Jim, because that's the way I roll, it is. And it's working, eh? It's a right one even. What's the chance of that happening? You okay, pull that off. There you go, look at it. Decent, for great decent. So we'll pull this out, not all the way though. Oh, too late. Try the new shocks and look at the difference, boys, in the length. Hey, eh? they got a little extra length on them. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? Decent. So we'll slap these in. The whole ski. So that goes on here like this. Oh my God, there's something pulling on her, boys. I lost my T member I did. T. Get in there, you son of a bitch. Oh, she's tight. Nothing like a toity, boys. Girls, peoples. Well, even the girls like them tight sometimes, they do. All right, you do. Don't lie to me. Why do your husbands not to me, eh? Why wouldn't you? I would. Get in there, you son of a bitch. What exactly is cocking on here? Oh, it's just cocked me over. Why don't I have them control arms on the inside anyways? That way the shocks wouldn't hit as friggin' bad. I'm gonna change them around, boys. So these things were on the outside, and I'm gonna put them on the inside because I don't know why they'd be on the outside and the back's on the inside. Maybe that's why it's kind of being a dick. Maybe it's not supposed to be like that. So let's try it the other way around and see what happens. Why wouldn't we? Why the hell wouldn't we? Oh my god, it doesn't fit. What the hell? That's no wider than that one. Oh, it is wider than that one. Oh no, Captain. Houston, we might have a problem. The shocks are wider bases. Are you fucking serious right now? SD Air? I'll give you an SD error. Oh my god, it's gonna need an SD something. Oh boys, this is gonna be a pain in the balls to get in here. Gotta get it started somehow. Oh, well that SD guard works real good. You just lost the close-up camera. Sorry boys. You're gonna have to pay attention now. Cause I don't know what the hell is going on with that goddamn thing. Yeah, yeah. 
Nothing like a good SD card error. Frig. Why wouldn't it be? Holy, once I get that in there, it's not going to fall out. I'll tell you that right now. There she goes. All right, well, there's one. Let's go to the top notch, and we'll see what it looks like all jacked right up. I know I'm going to have to change it, but let's just see what it looks like for the hell of it, eh? Why wouldn't we? I want to see what it looks like with full suspension. Look at look at the height difference, boys. Eh? I want to check that out. Look at the height. It's going to be the differences, Jim. You can always, always readjust. A crawler you want low to the ground as possible. I get it, but I want to try this. Because I think it's going to look cool, eh? We'll be jacked up version. Yeah. So now we got to pull this tire off and do the other side. We do. And at least the truck will sit level. Here, you get down here since my car aired out on me. Maybe you can get a closer angle than this now. Have to see what's really going on with that card. I will. Friggin' right, I will. And you can move closer too. How's that? Is that better, boys? Can you see me better? Oh, that's pretty good, eh? You'll be right there. Just stay there. Why wouldn't you? Let's flip this thing over. It might be easier. Friggin' right, I'm saying. Here, let me turn it so you can see. Look at that. I can actually get to it now. Oh, right off the friggin' table. Why the fuck wouldn't you go right off the goddamn table? Just a bit. Dick. Next El Shaco. So we'll go on the inside again with this one instead of the outside. We'll give that tab a little bend. That's what happened, eh? The tab got bent. That's why it was tight. A little bend, tweaky, tweaky. Nothing major because there's aluminum will break like just looking at it funny. The light in here sucks for some reason tonight. Unless I'm just going blind. That could be too. Dirty little rotten old stinky old wore out Bills is having a hell of a time tonight. With fucking shit falling. Oh, something's happening. Just grab my nuts, boys. Just hanging on to my nuts, I am. Now when my friends come over, I'll give them this one because it's higher up and it won't crawl as well. So then I always win. Freaking right I will. Don't tell them though, okay? Why would you? I promise I won't tell them if you don't tell them. Burp. Burp. Oh, yeah, I did. I love fucking doing shit like this. It's just cool. Oh, you know what? These shocks are actually nice. Oh, boys. For friggin' the price of these shocks. I'll leave both links below for the shocks and the transmission. And that camera's almost dead. I've never seen it almost dead before. So we're gonna have to end this short here, but I'll do a charge up. I'll come back once I'm done and you can see the rest of it. But there you go. There's a the front end done. And look at when I drop the back, boys. Watch the difference here. So here's the back. Right? Not too bad. Not really moving at all. It's just kind of hard. Watch the front. Look at the front. Oh, yeah. What a difference. It's hard to see in the video, but trust me, boys. There's a big difference. And look at the lean factor. Hey. Oh, I can't wait to get the back shocks on. But I'll charge you up, and I'll charge you up, and we'll be back. All right, so I got the shocks and everything on. Both sides, all four corners. But what I noticed is on the front, my RC Fanatics, I decorated it, I did. So what I did was I put it to the lowest hole just to see how high up I could get it. But it only goes up so high, the suspension only allows it to go drop down so far. So I redid the shocks. So basically I had them in the bottom hole here. I had them in the bottom holes on the struck tower. But when I undid them, there's a load on the shocks, if you know what I mean. So basically the suspension was down as far as the shocks would push them down, but there's still some shock left so basically what i did is i took the shocks off and just pulled without the shocks on just pulled up the chassis and let this let the wheels and the you know the, the drivetrain everything dropped as far as it could and then i put it on a zero on shocks so there's no you know so the shocks are fully extended the suspension is fully down so now i get full travel out of the shocks right which is decent because now it's got that's quite a bit of uh a tip eh if you look at her she uh she tips pretty good now she does before it lifts up the back wheel like that's pretty friggin decent we'll have to check her out and we'll have to try her out and see how she works so it's not going to sit hugely high but it sits kind of nice right now it's got some nice fucking stance it does she's fucking mid jim look at the stance on her let's stuff this on here and have a boo at her so the back body's got to go down some still so we can drop that down we should drop it all down because the higher up we are the more she's going to tip. The front's down as far as it will go, I think. Sure is, because these are on that. But that's weird, because the back needs to go down lower for some reason. So let's drop this down another couple teethies and see how she fits, boys. One, two, three holes showing. So let's go two holes showing. One, two. Shove the pin back in there. All right, so now it should be pretty level. This body's just cocking me over. It's not sitting right there. All right. So, now the body's pretty friggin' level. Battery tray's down. Bob's a friggin' uncle. So she's got a little bit more of a raise on her. But it looks pretty friggin' wicked, doesn't it? Like, look at that, boys. And look at the suspension. She's pretty good, eh? This table doesn't give any justice, but she's got no balance now. She just, boom, sits. Boom. Down, see? Boom, down. These shocks, 
bounce, bounce. I'm freaking right, it did. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And the next video on the RCs will be this one and the TRX foreskins out and about. Hopefully, uh, I'll have someone driving the foreskins, and I'll have I'll be driving this one. Until then, hopefully everybody's having a good day. It is Friday today. So it might be Saturday before you see this video, probably tomorrow morning. But if not, hey, it is what it is. But it's supposed to be a really rainy, shitty weekend. So we're gonna try to get out of this. Maybe we'll put a board up in here or something. We'll do a crawl up the board angle and see how this performs against the TRX4 with the new shocks in her. What do you think? Leave your comments down below if you want me to do something like that. Why wouldn't you? Have a good night. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now.